All right, guys. So I just took a nap. I just took a nap. Uh, I'm tired. My body feels like crap. My hair is messed up. I don't even care because this is funny. This was this is this this is funny news to me. Um, and that is Jamie Newman opting out right three weeks before the season. Now it's not particularly funny um, for his reason, I guess, because you know Jamie Newman. You know the, he's you know the reason why he opted out was because of COVID. And if it, if any player decides to opt out for that reason. That's completely understandable. You would not hear any complaints, even if, you know, I'm going to knock on wood because hopefully this doesn't happen. But if any Bama players decided to opt out because of, you know, the entire COVID situation, I can't get mad at that. Can't can't get mad at that at all. Um, but if he opted out because this is, you know, this is from the sources that I'm hearing. If he's opting out because of competition, if he's opting out because he did not do good in the scrimmages, or because he never really got a fair share of his opportunity with first with the first team um, with first team reps working with the first team. That's gotta hurt if you're a Georgia fan. If that's if that's the reason. Again, it's a rumor. Uh, I'm not too deep into Georgia stuff, but if that actually happened, that's that's man. That's 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 tough. That 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 that, that, that that's tough, man. If that if that if that happened again, I'm stuttering over the place because. I, I don't believe that. I, personally, for me, I think it's COVID. But if that's the reason, that's tough. That's just all I got to say, boy. But as far as Georgia, Ben, as far as they go, now listen, they'll still be there. Georgia will still be one of the top two teams in the East. It will still it will come down to the deciding factor of Georgia versus Florida for the SEC East crown. Georgia still has the best defense in the country now that Oregon's not playing. And their offensive production is still going to be there. Um, but I did say this going all the way back to, I want to say April or May when I was making videos about George is that when you when you, is that with the entire COVID situation, when you don't have spring ball, when you have a limited amount of reps or limited amount of practices for the summer, and especially the, the, the complicated offense, cause Todd Munkin's offense is very complicated. It is very complex. It's very hard to learn that offense. Um, but yeah, when you got the limited amount of time working with that particular offense and you don't have a clear quarterback there, it's going to suck, especially earlier on. And Georgia has a very tough six game stretch. Their six game stretch is not easy at all, in my opinion. So, um, but Georgia will still be again, top two team in the SEs. It will come down to Georgia versus, it will come down to Georgia versus Florida. But if you're a Georgia fan, that's just gotta be very concerning that you're losing, uh, you're losing a potential first round pick. Jamie Newman was a projected first round pick before he even got to Georgia. People thought that he was going to have an explosive year at Wake Forest, transferred to Georgia. His stock went through the roof. Obviously, the talent is there with him at 6'4", 230 pounds. Uh, the fact that he's a very, you know, the fact that he's a very intelligent football player, um, very intelligent, can learn the playbook. Um, very, very easily, has the arm strength, has the accuracy, but most importantly, he's very dynamic. He can he can run, he can extend plays outside of the pocket. That's the most important part. He extends plays outside of the pocket. He knows how to use his legs. Jake Fromm, he can't run. Let's be honest here. Jake Fromm really can't run there. You got to go all the way back to Aaron Murray, uh, to the Aaron Murray days. And, and, you know, I think the last great, the last quarterback that can at least extend plays outside the pocket was uh was Matthew Stafford. So yeah, Georgia man, I JT now here's the thing, man. J, you still got JT Daniels. That's the good part. You still got JT Daniels. Five star quarterback. I watched him at modern day. He can run. Um he's not as you know he's not, now again he's not four seven. He's not I, I argue four eight. He's more of a four nine guy. But JT Daniels, he can extend some plays outside of the pocket. He can do that too. Um, he's just not as dynamic as Jamie Newman. Now, as a quarterback, pro just as a potential quarterback prospect, as far as throwing the football, um, as far as reading defenses and stuff like that, you can make an argument that JT Yales was better than Jamie Newman in that aspect. That's something that Jamie Newman had to work on his game, and that, you know, with, with the help of Todd Munkin before this entire COVID situation, that Todd Munkin was going to teach Jamie Newman all that. But, you know, I guess now with him gone and JT Daniels there, Maybe that can help. The only question is, is that is he going to be cleared to play? That's why the situation's so funny. Because JT Daniels is not even cleared to play yet. And Jamie Newman's gone. So, you know, JT Daniels, I think he is still practicing with the team. But he's not in pads. The only quarterbacks that are in pads are Carson Peck. 
Dewan Mathis and Stenson Bennett. Can you imagine if Stenson Bennett becomes the starting quarterback? Just think about that for a second. Can you imagine if Stenson Bennett becomes the starting quarterback? That is just hilarious to me if that ever was the case. But, man, I, I just don't know what to say about this because this literally came out the blue. I woke up, first thing I saw on my phone was, first thing I saw on Twitter was Jamie Newman opting out. I'm like, this can't be. He's opting out. Nah, nah, that's got to be fake news. All of a sudden, I, I, I see more. I, I, I go to the Georgia pages and it's tr Jamie Newman. I'm like, wow. So, uh, I mean, hey, it's good for Alabama. <laughs> Yeah, let me stop. It's good for my. It's good for Bama, though. I I, I can say that. But um, yeah, Georgia fans, let me know how you guys feel about Jamie Newman opting out. Because I know you guys got to be a little hurt by this. I know some guys, some people out there are like, eh, well, we got JT Daniels. But I think the thing for him is, he, is he even going to be cleared to play football this year? And I think not enough people are taking that seriously. Is he even going to be cleared to play? That's the question. Because if he's not, then there's really it's, it's Dewan Mathis, it's Stenson Bennett. And it's Carson Beck. Those are your only three options. In my opinion, Jamie Newman was the best. But, you know, who knows? Maybe JT Daniels can get, can get cleared and he can surprise a lot of people and become that quarterback that Georgia has always looked for since Matthew Stafford. But anyway, let me know how you guys feel about it. We can definitely talk about it. Hash it down in the comments below. Anyway, Jan 716, I'll catch you guys later. Have a good day, Georgia fans. Peace.